Okay, this one's going to be an interesting one. Okay, I think it's going to fit on A4. I hope so. We're just going to leave it at that. We're not going to add a background colour. I don't think this one is going to be suited to a background colour. This one's an interesting one. It's probably going to make some of your people laugh. It'll probably crack you all up laughing. It'll be that funny. But, you know, we've got to laugh at what we photocopy because it makes the photocopier look like a joke and I like to I like to take the piss out of the photocopier industry in particular Konica Minolta so this is going to be a funny one for Konica no Konica Minolta are probably going to be insulted but I don't give a fuck they're just a bunch of money fuckers we've got too much money fucking going these days and not enough people doing work that they actually wanted to do when they were a kid or a teenager What's the point in fucking going to school if, you, if you're just doing shit that you don't like? <laughs> Especially if you're not getting paid much for it. So we, we should all be paid to have fun doing what we're good at. I have no choice. I'm disabled at the moment. But I'm actually doing here what, I'm good, what I like. <sighs> With the ability that I've got, my disability doesn't affect my ability to make photocopier art. But it affects me in a lot of other ways and unfortunately I have to work in a sheltered workshop to get a little bit of extra money on top of my Centrelink benefits. So basically, yeah. So what have we got? A pair of underpants. Pink frilly underwear. So yeah, I'm doing what I like here and I'm hoping someday to make some in income from my photocopier art. But actually it costs me money at the moment to do it. So it's still classed as a hobby, but basically I've got to make something of this because this is all this is what I'm I do best at. I wish I could be a photocopier technician. I wish I could go back to when I was young and <laughs> and I had the dream to be a photocopier technician. I didn't want to become a process worker in a sheltered workshop. I didn't even know I had a fucking disability until much further down the track so what can I say I'm, I'm pissed and people who can work it'd be nice for them to choose a career that they like but industry is just so hooked on money people just do things they don't like and what can I say what, but what what can I do about it I can do nothing of the sort I can't do anything Except just do what I'm good at and hope that maybe my YouTube channel will start, will become, maybe I could monetize my YouTube channel if I could. I'm not good at monetizing stuff, but it would, it would be nice if I could make money working with YouTube. But this looks a bit blended and yucky. We've got to do something with that. So, yeah, so it'd be nice if I could make money out of my YouTube channel. You know, go off Centrelink, we're just moving this. Go off Centrelink and just be self-sufficient. That would be really cool, <laughs> to be self-sufficient. <sighs> Let me think what else we've got to do to change this. This looks a bit too, it's too blended. It looks yuck. So I'm wondering what to do here. Got too much yellow. Uh, cyan. Oh dear, this is not an easy one. <laughs> I thought this was going to be easy, but <laughs> this particular one don't look like it's terribly easy. We're going to add some red. We just want to make it more balanced. But yeah, this is my talent. It doesn't make money. It costs money. But it's worth. it'll be worth it in the end, I'm sure. I've got a gut feeling that I, I can make something of this. Because a lot of YouTube people make money from their YouTube channels and they review often they can afford to buy 
expensive gadgets like the iPhone 10 or the iPhone X and do a review on it. So people review can review equipment. They can afford it somehow, and I think it's because they've monetized YouTube. But let me have a look at this. This looks really great. This looks almost luminous. Yeah, I think we'll call that one quits. I'm happy.